welcome to this video this is Said Ahmed from Toronto Canada uh, in this video I'll just uh, show some uh, new information on implementing stock price prediction using graph neural network right so yet other videos before it is just a continuation of those so let's see So the implementation is of this paper as closely as possible. I'll try to implement. So this is the research paper. Okay. So how did I achieve? Okay, that's uh, some implementation, I think. I, I showed the code before. So at this moment, uh, the prediction, the prediction actually did not, does not look to be correct. Okay. In the previously, previously it seemed more, more correct, but uh, now it doesn't seem, but, uh, but the data set was different. I think previously the data set, uh, yeah, it was significantly different and apparently those data did not look look to be worse. I think there are more stocks, more data, but I think in terms of there are lots of null values. So it appeared to be the correct, the result was better there, but uh, I'm not sure because I did not keep a copy. I kept updating and then anyway. So one thing is, let's see here, the prediction, it does the predict, prediction, it does the prediction now, yeah, on the positive side, it can do the prediction. I get something. Prediction result is not good, it's not great. And previously it seemed that the predictions for different node were different, but it looks like something got mess messed up. And the prediction for different node looks to be the same. I think one of the case that, uh, uh, why this happens is if it's a fully connected graph, as far as I could uh, saw from the different uh, readings. Now, in my case, I saw that not all, all nodes are fully connected. So it it doesn't make sense. I think I suddenly noticed that, that that's what, anyway, I can go through uh, this and then probably uh, that's what I, what I see, but I will, I'll need to improve it for sure. Yeah. I think one of the important part will be checking the graph structure and how this how those are connected. If 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 we are if they are significantly connected to each other or all of that, or, or if it's very close to mesh or not. Okay, in that case, I probably will need to uh, do something about it. Okay. Okay. Another thing is, let's say, so previously the sparse parameter when I'm creating those graphs using some library. Uh, I did not put any sparse, but this time I might have given some sparse to be false. That probably something I can change and see how it gets improved or not. Anyway, or probably to 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 increase the sparsity. Uh, I think the graph is generated using struct relations. I probably can use a higher uh, correlation so that the graph becomes more sparse, not everyone is connected to everyone, right? So in that way, uh, I might be able to get a better result anyway. So for now, there are a couple of things what I get, but this is the, okay, let's update the presentation. I'm just creating some presentations on it. So this is just introducing the uh problem domain okay this is will be sort of hidden no need no need i think just a little bit of graphical this one just use some more image that's where i'm going so i thought that i will be using these graphs okay let's see at this moment for pearson there's the graph that i found it's in a spiral format, network X, network X, okay, 
using network access, sorry. I think what I did wrong is, okay, I need to ungroup it. Ungroup, then, Okay, so yeah, for the graph, but does it look like everyone connected to everyone? That's probably something I need to uh, I need to check, and probably the self loop. We can try to remove the self loop, so that probably can improve if it is the case that I'm getting the same because of this. So it can improve. Okay. RT stocks from Nasdaq. I probably did not take 30. I, I, I probably I have taken more than 30. I'm just trying to, I think it's 47. 47 rows, 47 columns. It's just, just a correlation. Okay, correlation. So 47 stocks. Okay, now let's see because I think Things will change. Actually, not really two-year data for now. It was uh, 2011 to, and I believe it will probably even 2005. Okay, I think I can find out. I think in the beginning, I, I can see it. Okay, let's see. So yeah, 2005, November to 2022, uh, December. Okay, this is the data. Okay, that's a different experiment, okay. So, okay, I don't think I want to uh, If I want to present, I probably will not be presenting this for my work. Probably just verbally I will say, what are those? Okay, methodology, right? Methodology. Okay, I don't think at this moment I want to say about methodology. Methodology, what will happen in the, let me see. At least I'm here, so what is this data collection? Okay, what sort of <clears throat> data exploration I have done, right? So first of all, the data set, the ranges, the data exists, they vary, right? So I need to uh, find that range where data exists for all stocks under consideration. Okay, because I'm doing it, so I don't Do it as a list. Okay. Remove out of the date data, right? That's it. Okay, so that is one thing. I still looked for NAN not applicable. Then replaced those with surrounding values. I used uh, interpolate or similar library method for that. Okay. Now after that, even then 
drop everything in my case i got one row and i believe it was around eight or nine rows i found some this some eight or nine i believe let's see so so that was the total uh, number of data set when i was uh, just removed the okay, when, I, when i just did concentration after did concentration and then still the difference let's see eight nine years nine rows were uh, had none and then we i could replace eight with the surrounding values even after that one of them some for somehow did not get replaced by the interpolation method i did not i just dropped it so more or less and i check that all of the data uh all of the stock verified all stocks has uh, equal number of values so approximately because i kept the data range same and equal number of values that means uh, i can assume that uh, the data exists for each of the dates so now how did i do it right so this is one of the Microsoft SQL Server. I brought this data. So this is this is my uh, Nasdaq Nasdaq data that I used, right? Now after that, I wrote some query or some start procedure. Let's let's go to the uh, okay. I grouped by ticker and then okay. Let me see. It is it is not. I think it is using it. Uh, a different table, I think. Yeah, because as my thought was, I could use some other data set. I think it was some, some previous data set. I may or may, may not go there. Okay, so you can see 4,302 and 4,293. So there is not much uh, uh, variations, right? So there is not much variation, but what I'm thinking, will that be causing any, uh, will have any effect on the accuracy of the result? So if the data alignment is there or not, so I believe it's still it ideally it's best that I I make sure that all of the data has some uh, value for all of the data. I think all the dates, even not the just start date or end date is not consistent. Even for each every single date is consistent for. So I need to provide some sort of script, right? So that to make sure that uh, they contain the value uh, for each. If not insert with some interpolation, so that should be good. Okay. Okay, so after that, what did I do? In terms of data explorations, did I do any data plotting? Okay. Mm. Any plotting, unitary, bivariate analysis. Okay, this is a time series, right? This is a uh time series analysis stock market price time series right so i did not want to scale it i did not want to scale uh if i scaled i think scales could be good if i could be doing some classification kind of things right classification kind of thing scaling and normalization now all of the prices are in US dollar or some same dollar currency. So in that case, scaling does not look like, does, I don't need it, scaling. Normalization does not seem that I need. But we'll see, we'll check, we'll, I think. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, math. Okay, I was in the methodology, right? Data exploration. Okay, feature selection. Okay, at this point, I, I removed the unnecessary columns. I just uh, kept date ticker adjusted close price. There is close price and adjusted close price. This probably is something to check uh, for accuracy. Okay, the other close, not a, if I used adjusted close, just the close price, that's what I do. Uh, yes. Sorry about that. And the model. Yeah, the research property is the model, right? Okay, I may try other variations. GCN only, at this moment I'm just only GCN. Uh, deep graph neural network. GCN plus LSTM. Okay, this, the one that this paper has done, it is sort of tricky, tricky means I think, uh, I need to figure it out, how to create this GCN or CNN together, right? Yeah, I think in the worst case, I might, uh, implement it using some basic equations, right? All the equations and keras layers and all those things. I hope things go okay. I think sometimes, uh, yeah, anyway, I might find out some of the equations. Uh, I believe there are some resources on the internet. I will see if we can make use of those on top, yeah. But in general, yes, uh, I can use uh, the graph libraries for this and this one I will see so far I did not see anything in the graph library and the uh, authors did not put the code I saw some GCN CNN implementation for our for other uh, projects it looked like I saved but as of yesterday I tried to search again but I did not find what I thought I saw but I, I need to see yeah but even Using that may not be easy. You need to understand how those internally is being configured and then you need to adapt this. Another thing is the main challenge will be the uh, running the data to that. Even if I want to use some GCN CNN uh, code that is written from scratch. Uh, yeah, I think I'll see how things go. Experiments. Results, right? Okay, that's it. Okay, I think what I wanted to do. Rajars, Rajars usually follow an experiment. Let me see which Rajal I want to bring. Okay, the prediction is not correct, but it seemed it probably was supposed to be correct. As I saw before, but with a different data and with slightly different configurations, I believe. Any what I want to go into the uh, 
So let me see where does this image go? Okay, this actually does not look to be a good idea. Loss mean average error, mean average percentage error. I believe that's what the uh, research paper has used. Let me check it. Okay, just check the paper. It's mean absolute percentage error, mean absolute percentage error and mean absolute error, mean squared error. The paper actually used root mean squared error, but it will be in the same square root, yeah. Just a square root of that, yeah. So it looks like all the graph looks the same. So what I can do, what I can do is, I, I probably could uh, use the method like save figure, right? Save figure, or there is something similar. Uh, method to save the figure. If I could use it, then I could just uh, Okay, looks like I will need to. Okay, save image. Okay, so let's put some one of them and probably put some case. Okay, at this point, I, I only use GCN and MLP. Uh, GCN. 32 layer, 32 layer. Okay, there's some other information that I used for the configuration. Okay, I'm just checking that what configurations that I used. Let me. Not, not this one. Okay, so Adam and learning rate and okay. 
Okay, so this is what I used. 30 to 32, ReLU, and learning rate 0.1. Okay. okay, I tried different learning rates just uh, gradually changing that one, but it, 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 it gave me the similar uh, result. Okay, I think one another thing that I need to show as the output, this one, right? Okay, mean absolute percent is error, 145. It's 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 not it's not a good number, right? I, I believe uh, at one point this mean squared error I actually saw which way way lower number, right? Way lower number. That's what I saw. Now I need to see exactly when I saw and why I saw. So that can. Okay, so this is one sort of, one set of results that I have got. Okay, so from previous code to this code, what is the difference, right? We are using NASDAQ data. Okay, this is what I'm checking if there is any null or not, right? Eventually, after removing, there is no null. Okay, we will repeat a couple of steps. Okay, initially, I saw some null value here. Yes. Now, interpolate in place, true. And even after that, I see that one of them is still have null, but I don't see it on the screen. It probably somewhere is there. And then I drop that thing. Ideally, still could be replaced it. And rather not with all that, I think, for each date, if the price is there or not, that probably something uh, needs to find out. For each date means dates are consistent. In general, in general, it should be good because I think the equal, almost equal number of uh, values are there for each of the stocks. And I sort of say that the dates are one after another, unless something in the middle Okay, Pearson, okay, I think what I can do for all of those uh, diagonal thing, I need to make it zero so that the correlation uh, I will I'll also make it Let's make it 0 0.6 and smaller than equals to 0 0.6. Now I probably can give it that way. It will remove some rows, remove some edges so that I don't get the same output. Okay, I think all of this code were before just removed some okay just uh, simplified the model right I was, I was doing some other experiments some other things are there okay yeah i think this is sort of new if i wanted to use multiple different metrics because the paper has used multiple so I just brought for multiple thing. 
and also I could use instead of a fixed learning rate, I could vary it over the time, 0.1, right? Actually, as I told, as I saw that, uh, sometimes that is seen to be a good learning rate. If I try to check a couple of places, that's what I saw. So it's about the plotting histories. Yeah, there is a little bit of change configuration and then using it here. Okay, this is the predicted price. I'm just trying to variations of the predict. Okay, just uh, just change one thing. Yeah, I just uh, diagonal element. I removed it so that I just have the there is no self and also the connection. I tried to give Pearson correlation. A little bit higher. Yeah, there are lots of zeros still. It is not that all nodes are connected to everyone. Okay, it's running. Bye.